Third episode of Day's favorite Facto is here and with it bunch of retarded things. In this video I will explain how the actions of our heroes contradict the characters we are familiar with, how the fact that George Lucas said something doesn't negate its potential for it to be retarded, how comparing two different scenes with completely different circumstances don't change how this scene is completely retarded and devoid of logic, and how one line of dialogue can fuck up the whole universe. Because I'm pretty damn sure that Dave might just possibly perhaps by some stretch of imagination have totally fuck up the whole force. And at the end I will show you how the whole structure of these three episodes we got so far is retarded. Ooh, let's do this. We open on Sabina playing with the flashlights. <laughs> Been there right boys? <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Okay. This time you can actually see some character in Sabina turning into Sabine. She gets easily frustrated and attacks aggressively. You know, not bad. There is a lesson to be focused and patient or you're gonna get stabbed and you might have to wait for a respawn next day. Following that we came across this line. Force resides in all living things, even you. <laughs> Holy shit. More I think about it, more fucked up it seems. Now I haven't seen anyone pointing this out, so there is a possibility of me just being a retard. Or retard. Dave just changed the whole universe. But I need you guys to tell me because one of us is retard, I'm sure of that. So Ahsoka implies that everybody has the force, you just need a great teacher and really really want to be a Jedi and you can become one. So now you created this force spectrum, this idea of everybody having the potential to be a force user. In the end you have this fucking uh, rock or uh, this random guy Paul, he would need the best teacher, incredible amount of time, but he can become a Jedi. That's what they are doing with Sabine, right? On the other side of the spectrum, you have Ray Palpatine, someone who is so powerful that she doesn't need any training at all, who is so strong because she's on the extreme side of the spectrum. She's naturally, without any training, more powerful than Anakin. Liar! Because everyone has the force, so it's a spectrum. Some have more, some has less potential, some need much more training, some need none. That's what Dave just introduced with this one fucking line. But it's not retarded, because George said so too. Got him! You see, George said the force is like a karate. You need a good teacher and you need to train really hard and you can become a Jedi. Shit one, but still better than no Jedi at all. So if this is true, this changes the whole universe. What? For example, Jedi could just train orphans instead of stealing newborn kids from their families. They could just take any orphan and train him to become a Jedi. They would need more time to train him, but eventually he would become a Jedi. They would never be a Jedi master, but more like a Jedi mall cop. You see how this changes the whole universe? I thought for being a Jedi you need high medical glory and count, you need to be snatched straight from the coochie and train your whole life to become a Jedi. That's great, you know, that works. But now everybody can be a Jedi, so the question is, why isn't everybody the low tier Jedi. Another example, we now have a deep fake Luke running around the galaxy, indoctrinating children into his new cult and training them in the Jedi way but slightly different way because we don't need more dead kids around, right Luke? <laughs> Right? So if everybody could become a low tier Jedi, Luke should train fucking pilots. Just sit him down and say, look, I'm a space wizard, I move shit with my mind, I have a flashlight sword, I can teach you to become a low tier Jedi, you just need to believe. So instead of dead children, the Republic would be full of low tier Jedi pilots. You see how this changes everything? If everybody can become a Jedi, why isn't everybody a Jedi? But George said it's a karate. <laughs> George Lucas can make retroactively retarded decisions that ruin Star Wars. There's a great quote said by a real Star Wars fan, it goes like this. People who alter or destroy works of art and our cultural heritage for profit or as an exercise of power are barbarians. So if you don't know, this is the guy who said it. At that point we as a fan should say, this is retarded, you know, let's not do that. If nobody says no to George, we're gonna end up with the prequels. I would really want to ask these hardcore fans, you know, who shot for First, which one is better, the original version or the special edition? Hmm, I would just like to see their heads explode. So what do you guys think? Does this everyone is on a force spectrum, everyone has the potential to use the force, change everything or am I a retard? You don't need to comment, just like or dislike is fine. You know I thought it could be saved by showing Sabina trying to use the force and fail, but that would only mean that Ahsoka is a shit teacher and Sabina is a shit padawan. Now let's take it from the character point of view. We have Ahsoka pretending to be a Jedi master and Mandalorian Sabina forceless pretending to be a Jedi Padawan. Why? Because it's it rhyme. 
<laughs> Dave desperately wants this master padawan thing and he doesn't care if it doesn't make any sense. Let's start with Ahsoka. First of all, why are they making her a Jedi? She was fired from the Jedi Order and she was like, you can't fire me, I quit. Then we have this line. I am no Jedi. And all of that leads me to believe that Ahsoka is not a Jedi. <laughs> Did I miss something? All of this is written by the same guy. Is he a retard? Is the cowboy head substitute for helmet? <sighs> now Sabina. You have this incredibly smart weapons engineer who is also a Mandalorian. She develops as a character and is shown through her art. Why are they making her a Jedi Padawan? She trained with lightsaber to be the Gar Saxon in a lightsaber fight. She started to get good when she started to embrace that she is a Mandalorian. Why make her a Padawan? Uh, it rhymes. Uh. I can't see. How am I supposed to fight? Look, I rhyming. General Hera with her own ship and with her own squadron can get one ship to help Ahsoka? They exit the hyperspace far away from the planet so they can be spotted. But they are spotted immediately because uh, Stairmaster here and Barris are patrolling this part of the space just now. How inconvenient! Anywho they get disabled and they are now dead in space. But don't worry, Ahsoka has a plan. Sabina, roll down the window and I will sword fight the spaceship. If you have at least one brain cell, you know this is retarded and indefensible. Of course, there is this guy. Love the scene. It was very Star Wars Clone Wars while staying within the confines of the rules of the galaxy. You see, they did this in Clone Wars, so it's not retarded, it's called Callback. To give you guys some context for this, first example is Plo Koon and his clones are stranded in the escape pod and a bunch of B1 droids are trying to fuck them up. So they get out and shoot them and Plo Koon cuts this thing. Second example, Anakin and Ahsoka are trying to rescue a Jedi from enemy cruiser so they drop a couple of tanks on the ship and try to get in. Few vulture droids flies out and immediately land in front of the tanks and the Jedi. They are now in a cutting distance. That's retarded. But the Bane, the guy who is in command of the enemy enemy cruiser wants the Jedi to get in because he prepared a trap for them. So now you see Ahsoka going out with a flashlight sword and the enemy ship closing distance and focusing the fire on Ahsoka is not retarded now because they did that sort of kinda in a Clone Wars. The whole structure... <laughs> Why didn't we start with this episode? We could skip so much walking and so much staring. There would be no off-screen arc with Ahsoka and Sabina. Just show how the witch got out and start with episode 3. If you would say the witch knows the location of throne, I would believe you. It's still less retarded than the fucking map.